I'm Bob Pierce, uh, Billy Pierce's son. We're here to uh, talk about my dad and his uh, great career, more importantly his life, as he's now for the golden era of the Hall of Fame. Humble. Loyal. Integrity. Kind. He really felt this was his home. He was so much appreciated by the, by the fans and just the people of the area. Some of our good family friends that we actually refer to as aunt and uncle were uh, you know, Southsiders and he would watch them playing softball from his apartment. And then he went out there one day and they said, do you want to play? And okay, so he was playing. And then a few weeks went by and they said, how come you don't show up on certain days? He said, because well, I'm playing somewhere else. And then they found out he was playing for the White Sox. So that was my dad. Billy was just a wonderful man. He spent 46 years raising money to fight cancer for Chicago baseball's charity. And ironically, it was cancer that eventually took his life. He came to all of our, all of our softball games. Um, it didn't even have to be softball, it was volleyball, lacrosse, he came yeah. here. Oh yeah, all the time. I found out that he had 1,999 strikeouts. And I was like, oh, you were one away from 2,000 strikeouts. Like, does that not drive you crazy? <laughs> and he was like, no. Like, he just, <laughs> like, immediately was like, no. And he, he said, I got 1,999 more than most people ever get. And to me, it's like, that's such a great way of looking at it. And that's such a, like, I wish that everyone approached sports and competitive nature that way is he recognizes it's an amazing accomplishment, but he doesn't get hung up on the, the one away. Hall of Fame, I mean, that's the highest honor that you can get, right? right. In baseball, and maybe not to him, maybe it, it was having his family, um, not biased or anything, but <laughs> more than anybody. You know? Years later, saying about the Hall of Fame, and his first thing was, most importantly be to Gloria, not him. You know, he always had her first in mind. This was a charm bracelet that my dad started to build for my mom for various types of accomplishments that he had just to remember them by and that when my mom would always have that she could kind of wear. He won 20 games to when he won 200 games to um, various all the all-star games that he was in. My mom was so important to him, so he always took care of her. Besides how great it would be for us, it would be wonderful for my mom. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. If he does win, uh, you'll probably hear her all the way <laughs> on the south side because uh, she'll be quite ex excited. We're honored to have it. We have something like my daughter can, you know, still gets to see Papa because she doesn't remember him, but it's really nice to have. <laughs> I don't see him as the baseball player. Yeah. So yeah. like the statue is is fantastic and everything, but that's not what I remember him as. Like. Our conversations, the lessons he taught me, everything like that had nothing to do with baseball. When we'd stay at Papa Grandma's house, we'd see the stack on their counter of mail, and it was fan mail. And he always had it categorized, and he always had this pen there, and every morning, he'd wake up, he'd have his tea, and he would just respond to these handwritten letters from people, they'd ask for a card, they'd, most of the time they'd include a card, he'd autograph it, put it in this fresh new envelope that he was really proud of, <laughs> seal it up and send it back to them. And to me, that's what he left, is the legacy not just of a great baseball player, but of a great person that continued supporting baseball for his entire life. And not only through the charity, not only through the fan service, but also just the commitment to the legacy of what it means to be a baseball player, he kept up for, he, as long as he got a letter, he signed it, he sent it back to them, and I'm sure he made that person's day. And that's his legacy. 